Morning, Christ Kingdom Life Center. Love you guys. Miss you. Know that as soon as COVID-19 begins to clear up, we'll be able to gather. But I do want to admonish you all to continue wearing your mask. I'm not sure who's listening to this, but we have to watch out one for another. It's not just about us. So let us continue to wear our mask, continue to do social distancing, um, and if possible, stay home. I know we have things to do. I know some of your jobs are requiring that you um, go in. But again, let's do all that we can to keep one another safe. And to all of our um, people that have um, any type of medical issues, know that we continue to pray with you, and we want you to, at all costs, uh, stay healthy. So even when we're gathering, um, we'll be wearing masks and do, practicing social distancing. Um, today's message, um, briefly, I want to talk about being thankful, being thankful. Um, our scriptures will be Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind, listen now, in Christ Jesus. So the first part of this scripture gives us, um, if you will, three parts, um, and it's talking about praying. I know I'm talking about being thankful, but I want you to hear um, the revelation that uh, Paul is uh, sharing with us in Philippians. The first one is to pray, and the Bible says, um, pray without ceasing. But I've been really trying to have us um, come to an understanding that when we're praying, we ought to also listen to God. Uh, prayer is basically an address to God. It's it's talking with God. Um, but in this particular instance, I, I want us to, in this season, in all seasons, also uh, let Holy Spirit um, give us a listening ear, that we're not just talking, that we don't just go to God with a list. We'll talk about that in a minute. But that we're really trying to hear what God is saying, what God is doing. And then watch this, not only be a hearer, but a doer of the word. The next um, admonishment is to um, not only pray, but to petition. Uh, to petition means a seeking, asking, or entreating uh, of God. Um, and so it is uh, right to ask God. Um, it's right for he, he's a good, good father, one of my favorite um, songs. Jesus loves us so much that he gave his life. So he wants to appropriate. He wants to bless. He wants to keep us. He wants to teach us. Um, he wants to guide us. He wants to give us strategy. Holy Spirit wants to be the revelator, wants to be the comforter. Um, so it's right that we ask. It, it is right that we ask. And in this season, I, I, I said, let us continue to ask for the wisdom of God, not just the stuff of God, because we can get the stuff of God and not be able to, um, if you will have the wisdom of God, to know how to handle it, uh, to know how to administer it. Um, so in your petition, um, even in uh, Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 through 12, uh, it says, ask, seek, and knock. And if you read those words there, it means to do that continuously. But it means to do that in faith. There's nothing wrong with continuing to ask it with expectation that God himself is going to watch this work with you um, to provide what is uh, needed. Uh, but again, uh, seek, ask, knock, are all on our side of the equation. Many times I say um, uh, we're not waiting on God. God is literally waiting on us. So let us pursue God in that petition. But now let's get to uh, the third part of the A part of that clause, which it says to be, it says by Thanksgiving or with Thanksgiving. Uh, and we don't have to be deep. Thanksgiving, reverse it, it means giving thanks. And there's something that occurs in our spirit, man, in our psyche, in our minds, in our emotions, when we begin to really focus in on the, watch this, the goodness of God, the character of God, uh, and we just begin to thank him, first of all, for who he is uh, uh, and, and his, his power, his, his exploits. And then when you believe uh, and you begin to think about how much he is concerned about you, uh, concerned about your loved ones, um, and, and even in the midst of trials and, and situations and discrepancies, um, that God is still on your side. You, you have something to be thankful for. If you can listen to this, you need to be 
thanking him that you can hear this and that you can you can understand that your heart is still beating uh, uh, as the old uh, I would say the mature folks would say the, the 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 blood warm through your your veins you need to you need to thank him you have a roof over your head thank him you have food in your in your cupboard thank him you, you you're driving a car thank him you're able to put gas in it thank him you're still employed thank him you're unemployed but 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 doors are opening uh thank him you're sick and you got well thank him your children are doing well uh, uh thank him they made it through another school year thank him there's so much more uh, that we can thank him for learn to thank him for the little things and then you won't miss the the, the, the big things, your, your, your check hit the bank, uh, uh, thank you. you, you missed a check, but you didn't miss a meal, thank him, uh, 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 your ends didn't quite meet, but, 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 but you were able still to make it, thank him, God is good, now watch what happens when we do that, when we thank God, and I know thanksgiving is more of praise, but it can move you into worship, and prayer um, that is saturated with worship it will remove worry. So I don't want us to pray from worry. We should be praying from a place of worship, one where we are ascribing, if you will, worth to God, where we say we really understand who God is. And because we understand who God is, uh, we can we can have uh, peace that there is something that God is doing in the midst of our life. Y'all, um, I've been saying it. God is moving in the midst of the pandemic. He, he is doing something, but I really believe he's using it to orchestrate things in the life of the believer so that we might come, if you will, into a rightful place where we can do the exploits of God. And so continue to be thankful. Even now, I'm hoping you're being prompted in your spirit that there is something. There are several things for which you have not thanked God yet. And you should uh, begin to thank him. Now watch this. I want to give you some um, some more things to uh, think about. Um, remember, we said in Isaiah, he says, uh, he will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. Because the, the second part of that verse says, and the peace of God. Think that. Think about that now. And the peace of God, not, not our peace. And, you know, we've studied that word. Um, peace really means nothing broken, uh, 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 nothing sick, nothing um, depleted. It means a wholeness, a, a soundness to our life. And it's really what we want. And the peace of God, the, the peace of God doesn't mean the absence of trouble, but the peace of God, which transcends, listen, it goes above our understanding. It will guard, listen to that word, it will guard our hearts. There, 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 there's a garrison around our hearts, the seat of our very being. Uh, it will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. He, Isaiah says uh, he keeps his mind in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. And we found out there that mind there meant prophetic imagination. It means that God begins to uh, uh, help you with your imagination. Now watch this. And so if you will in this season, allow God to change. Y'all have heard this before. Let God change your what if. Many times we use our what if and, and following that is always negative. But if our minds are stayed on him, he's going to keep us in perfect peace because now uh, what if becomes the expectation, the hope that we have in faith? What if I lost the job so that God could open up a career? Uh, uh, what if this occurred and what the result of it is, it brought me to a deeper faith in God. He will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. And so our focus uh, has to be driven, if you will, by the Holy Spirit that now our focus is on the Lord and he will keep us in perfect peace. A person in perfect peace who has that understanding, who whose imagination, if you will, um, is guided by the Holy Spirit, prays a certain way, has a petition that comes uh, a particular way, and sure enough has a praise and a thanksgiving that moves in worship. Why? Because their minds are stayed uh, on the Lord. And watch this. It says, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding. Now listen to that. It's going to go beyond our understanding. Have you ever been in a situation where it just should be causing you so much worry. It should be causing you to be anxious. And I'm not saying that that doesn't attack you. 
but you're so anchored in who God is and what God has said and your expectation and in your hope and in your faith and in the character of who God is and how he how how, how Jesus came in and, and, and he redeemed you and how the Holy Spirit was with you that while folks think you should be going crazy you have an anchor you have a peace and, and listen it surpasses your understanding because even your own mind can't gra uh, wrap its mind around it isn't that an awesome thing he He'll keep us in perfect, he'll perfect peace. We'll have the God kind of peace. God is not tripping about what's going on. He 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 is in control. Doesn't mean that we don't have anything to do, uh, but he'll guard your heart. He'll guard your very being. He, uh, he'll guard it if we if we if we pray right, um, if we ask right, if we seek right, and if we and if we'll thank him, he says there's peace that will guard your heart. And your mind. I want to end with this. I know I'm around um, uh, 10 minutes. But, but listen now. He said. He will do. Something that is. So great. And the peace of God. Which transcends. Listen now. All understanding. It will guard your hearts. And your mind. It reminded me of this. And he can do exceedingly. Come on, y'all. He can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we could ask or think. Watch that now. He can do it. We have we have a saying going around now in Christendom, won't he do it? Well, let that be your mantra now when you're thinking about what needs to be done. Won't he do it? He can do exceedingly abundantly of all that we could ask or think. Won't he do it? Yes, he'll do it. But I want to say it again. Not without the absence of you. Uh, faith requires action. There we go again now. Uh, he'll do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. Uh, uh, not only is, 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 is he able, but he is willing. Somebody here that uh, I feel that bubbling up. He, 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 he will do it. But it may require something on your end to activate it, those conditional uh, blessings of God. And he can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. Watch this though. According in relation to the power that's working in us. And so I'll say it again. Um, in order to be thankful, it starts within. You can't look at what's going on on the outside. You have to look within and and God will change your purview. He'll change uh, your perspective of something. Many times, if all things are working together for our good, why? Because we're called and we love God. Then it doesn't mean all things are going to be good. But they're going to work for our good. And so that should be our expectation. That should be our hope. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. I hope this has encouraged you. I hope it has put an anchor in you. Um, this is a revelatory word for you. But I want you to be thankful. And as we continue to move, don't be dismayed by the numbers of COVID going up. You do what you're supposed to do. Trusting and believing in God. Being thankful. Continuing to pray. Separate that time and that space. Continue to seek him. Continue to knock. Continue to ask. Do it over and over. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And then remember, he's able to do exceedingly abundantly of all that we can ask or think. But I want that peace of God that transcends even my understanding. We need it at this time. But we get it by the way we approach God. So don't approach God. Listen, or I should say you may approach God in worry, but exchange that for worship. And you'll be more than then okay. Christ Kingdom Life Center, we are truly missing you. Uh, we'll have some news coming to you um, um, shortly. Uh, God is in the midst. He's working. I thank all of you for your praise report. Continue to send those in. Um, God is keeping the believers. Uh, and so we have some context. Uh, yes, um, I, I believe that folks who are saying that we are, uh, we are in the midst of biblical days, we've always been in the midst of biblical days. Uh, but it's, it, it, it really, if read correctly, also says that it's the time when the believers or the church should shine forth greater than ever before. 
And so if that's going to happen, there's some things that God is going to do in our lives. There's going to be some things that he's going to require of us. And so we need not um, continue in fear, but in strength, knowing that God is moving on the behalf of us, on the behalf of our children, on the behalf of nations, that we all might come to know him, to love him, to guide our lives by him. That's the important thing. Y'all, I'm, 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 I'm blessed. Um, I'm able to uh, celebrate my uh, father's birthday during this time with family. And I just want to tell you, I'm, I'm thankful. Uh, I just kept saying, I'm thankful, God. I am I am thankful to those who have lost members of their of your families during um, this time. Trust me, I know that pain. Know that we're with you, we'll comfort you, we'll do all that we can um, to be with you. We pray that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, that it would guard both your heart and your mind at this time. Families, love those that are around you. Text, call those that are far off. And I'm going to say this right now. Last week we talked about the reset. It may be time to reset some of your relationships and family. You don't have time. Listen to me. You do not have time to be at odds with one another. Love one another. You be the bigger person in Christ. And go to them and say, forgive me, whether you're wrong or not. And I know you're saying, oh, I can't do that. Well, I pray the Holy Spirit gives you strength. Y'all, I love you. I thank again all of you who continue to support and bless the ministry, continue to share these messages. We're only trying to give you what God gives us in the time that God gives, uh, uh, gives us. I know they could be longer. I have a lot more in the notes. We could go deeper. But I believe these nuggets have been good to you. They've been good to me. God bless you all. We'll see you soon. Amen.